Hi guys, uh, so today we will talk about visibility problem in multi-threading and how we can solve that problem using volatile keyword. So let's see this example. So I have one class and inside this class I have one boolean flag and I have getter and setter function for that flag boolean. Okay, so what I am doing here is I am creating one thread here which will set the flag value from false to true and it will end basically the that's the purpose of this thread and so in the second thread i am having infinite while loop until or unless the flag value is true okay so it will keep running until the flag value is true so if i run this code so if you see here thread one started and thread one logic started after that thread two already started and then thread one logic completed and flag is set to true by thread one in this line but if you see here the thread two is still stuck on this while loop even thread one have updated the value to true but thread two have not received the updated value here it is still getting the value as false due to which this while loop is continuously running so this problem is known as visibility problem so how we can solve this problem basically so we can use here volatile keyword in java so if i will use this keyword on the flag and now if i will run this so you will see as soon as flag is set by thread one this while loop is over and this statement got completed here okay so this visibility problem we resolved by using volatile keyword okay so now let's see the high level flow like how the volatile keyword resolved that problem so let's say i have here main memory so i have main memory here ram okay and then let's say my computer have two cpus okay so i will just create two cpus here so let's name it as cpu1 and cpu2 okay so when we created thread1 in the code so let's say the thread1 got created in the cpu1 okay and thread2 got created in the cpu2 okay and each cpu will have own registers where they can cache their values okay so i will say here cpu1 registers and same thing will be there in the cpu2 registers so let's say cpu1 is reading the value of the flag right which was false in the starting okay and cpu2 or thread2 you can say thread2 also read the initial value which was false here so now once this value was read from the main memory it got stored in the cpu registers and cpu registers and thread1 are always in sync okay so it's updating the value in cpu registers and it is reading the value for both threads okay so like this so once thread one started it fetch the value of the flag as false stored in cpu registers and then updated the value as true here so it can be the case the value was not updated from here to main memory okay so this is one case the second case is even the cpu one or thread one registers the value in the main memory but still thread two is continuously reading from cpu registers instead of main memory so there can be two problems right so visibility problem is there right when one thread have updated the value but the other thread is not able to get the latest value okay so when we used volatile keyword what happened is we said like the flag is volatile so what does that mean as soon as any thread will update the value of flag immediately it should update the value in the main memory so this is the one case and the second case is if any threads if any thread wants to read the value of volatile keyword it should read directly from the main memory it should not read from the registers okay so that's why when you when we used volatile keyword in flag and then flag got updated true in thread one and as soon as it got updated the value was updated in the main memory and thread 2 the while loop was running but the thread 2 was not 
checking the value from registers it was directly checking from the main memory because the flag is volatile when we used volatile keyword it resolved all that visibility problem hope you like this content you can subscribe and share it with your friends